Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this look. I was inspired by the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette, which um, just came out recently, and I've just been seeing a lot of purple looks, and I do have a lot of Urban Decay shadow palettes that I used to use before, and this is one of them. So if you guys like this look, please give me a thumbs up and keep watching. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start by actually using my concealer to prime my eyes. So I'm just going to be applying the concealer. That way the colors grab on nicely. I've already put foundation on so don't think I have perfect skin. And I would have my brows too. Didn't take them off from when I went to work today. And this concealer is one of my favorite shades. It just really, really makes my skin look fragrant. It's the shade Neutralizer. I wonder if they still have it. should probably check. Because I do need a new one soon. Okay, so we have the concealer. I'm actually going to start with this shade called Alien from the Vice Palette. Yep, this is a great transitioning shade, especially because I want the look to look smoked out. That's the color on my eye. It's one of my favorite colors in this palette. I'm going to use something like this, shorter and stubbier, because I want more control. I'm going to go ahead and grab the color gel tip. I still want the baby pink color to show a little bit, so I'm going to just start a little bit lower and go my work with my weight up. And yep, this is still pretty as it was before. So I forgot how pigmented this color is. It's really pigmented, so. If you guys have your electric palette, still use it. Going up towards my brow, just gonna brush up and then drag it back in. Oh my. <laughs> okay, and then um, grabbing a clean brush, something like this that's a little bit more fluffy. I'm going to diffuse that color a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse the color with this fluffier brush. And I'm just blending it out up the brow. If you think you went out too far, you could just run your finger like this. And clean it up. It's an easy fix. So don't be afraid that it looks like the color has taken over the eyes. We're going to go with a deeper color to kind of set the crease a little bit more and make it more defined because I think with the purple colors, it looks amazing that way. Okay, going with the same tone of this color, I'm going to go in with maybe the Mocha palette. And if you have a violet purple, so it's more violet than anything, something that kind of matches the color anthem, um, use that color because I'm going to use that just to deepen the crease a little bit. And this one, I really just want to keep it in the outer corner. So I'm using something dense like this to have more control. And then there you go. Just to my color. And honestly, if you don't have this color, you don't need it. But I'm using it to create more dimension. And it definitely created dimension, as you guys can see. But you don't need it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color Urban. You're going to fill in my lid with this color. And I'm using the same brush that I used earlier. You can pack it on messily and then blend it later. Try to leave like the one-fourth of your eye kind of clean. And then I'm going in with that, um, that brush I used earlier to blend it in. Go ahead and blend those colors in. And then I'm going to go back in with gel tip because I feel like I lost some of the color. I'm going to go in with the same brush that I applied it earlier and I'm just going to go ahead and apply some more right at the crease. I'm using the same brush. I'm just shaping the, the look a little bit more. Okay. And that's how it looks so far. Now I'm um, going in with like, and from any palette, grabbing any tone that is similar to this one. It's kind of like a anything similar to your skin color. And kind of 
top that right underneath your brow so that way you're able to highlight your brow just a little bit. So now going in with my NARS concealer, I'm going to create a tiny, tiny cut crease right in the inner corner kind of just to highlight my eyes and also to kind of bring some shimmer inside or a more neutral color inside. So this is a little bit more of a wearable look for you guys. I'm going to go in with a brush, any detail brush you guys may have. When your shape kind of looks like this, you're going to go in back with the brush that you had applied the color jilted, so the first or the second color we used, and you're just going to go ahead and blend the concealer to kind of blur it out a little bit. Now this is where I'm kind of debating what color to use. Grabbing the color Bubbly from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which let me show you guys a swatch. Anything that looks like nothing. It just looks like a highlighter. Apply that to your inner corner. So using the highlighter color, your eyes should look like this. So for liner, I typically just use a liner brush and NYC liner that I have. So I've gone ahead and done the liner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the color Alien again. So this color right here is like a shift, a pink with the shift tone of gold. And I'm going to smoke it out really low. And I'm going to try to blend it with the outer edge of this pink right here. Kind of like that. So even though it goes beyond my brow, it's fine. And again on the other eye. And because this color is so light, you can use so much of it. Kind of just pack it in and use something that's dense so that way you have more pigment. And then using my more dense brush, I can show this is what I used to pack on that dark purple. I'm gonna grab the color jilted from the Urban Decay palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes again. So yeah, I'm just gonna concentrate the color jilted again towards the outer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend it. And then I'm gonna clean that up in a bit to kind of make it go up, but yeah. So now I started with the bottom lower eye. And as you guys can see, it's kind of hard. I mean, because my the way my cheeks are shaped, it kind of makes like a divot in and then it goes back out. So I'm gonna try to make it as smooth as possible so that way it kind of looks like it's going upwards. I might have to blend up here a little bit higher so that way it can look like a more cat shaped look. But let's keep on blending and I'm going to do the same to the other eye and then I'm going to make depth with the purple. I'll fix my brush then. Okay, so again, just kind of blending it out. Blending it out. Okay, so I've got that look. I'm going to just steepen it up a little bit with the same color. I don't know, this color is not that easy to work with. It's kind of like a stain. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and deepen the color with the dark purple. I'm going to use the color Urban. And for that one, again, I'm going to use this color right here, this brush right here. Okay, and then again, I'm going to match what's up here, down there. But this time, I'm just going to use a highlighter straight from the pan and no concealer underneath. And I'm only going to go in with the color and lasten and blend that into the purple okay guys so I finished the look um oh actually I haven't so this is a lip color that I used to finish off the look it is called Montaigne I think this really goes cute together but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my mascara real quickly because I did forget to do that So this is the finished look. I did add freckles. I used my Joyce lipstick from my new sticks palette to create like freckles. I've also mixed it with a little bit of brow powder just to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. And I've added my blush. I use MAC Peaches. And then I didn't use highlighter because I feel like my skin's a little bit dewy from the summer and Oh yeah, I did have one tip, guys. Um, for this kind of look, when you're 
spreading it out outwards, I do recommend using like a translucent powder and a brush to kind of like diffuse this and also clean it up a little bit so it doesn't look like you have purple going down your eyes, which is not a bad look if you're going for that look. But yeah, um, this is a look. And it was definitely inspired by the new Urban Decay palette, the Ultraviolet palette, just because I feel like purple's went away for a while and now they're back. So yeah, I hope you guys like the look. Thank you.